morning guys what's wrong with my hair good morning and welcome to today's video it is wednesday Should show my flower you guys <laughs> things are falling apart in ontario canada should i pick it yeah it's almost dead where do i pick it from where do i pick it from here yep Water, man, it bloomed too quick. Yeah, it bloomed I'm quick. I'm giving you all the rose um, petals. Well, yeah. you can put them in the fridge in a little bag or something. It doesn't smell that good. Anyway, welcome to today's video. We've already, I feel like, lived a whole lifetime. It's 10 a.m. and it's already been too much stress. The rain, the rain. I don't know if it's been raining where you are. I know it has, it's raining in a lot of places. I know Australia has no rain, but it has been raining this year. Like the whole ground is spongy and soft. The goat field is a mess. Sam, you have to bushwhack or whatever it's called that whole field today. Yeah. Not today because the ground is so wet. You can't even take a tractor on it. Like. The goat field is just a swampy mess because it's at the bottom of a hill. It's awful. Do you want to see what happened to my garden? Like my garden, you guys, it can't handle the rain. It's like, it's a jungle. My garden is a jungle. It is a wild jungle. Look at this. I don't even have enough fence for these plants to grow up on. They're just like wild. It is wild beyond wild okay so all my tomatoes nothing is turning red yet because there's not been enough sun it's just been all rain but and all the weeds I can't even get in here because the ground is so wet but the tomatoes are like millions they're by the millions you guys literally two days ago they not, the garden did not look like this. Everything has sprouted like water. Too much water will make your plants go really leggy. My plants are really leggy. Do you wanna know what's even more shocking? Two days ago, I'm talking two days ago, I didn't have any zucchini on the plant. Two days later, look at the size of that sucker. In two days, and again, in two days. These are the vines that I have growing, all these vines. This is the vine part of my garden. It's just skyrocketing how badly, how fast it's growing. Look at this pumpkin. It's been insane. Like I have flip flops on right now and literally my feet are soaked just from all the water in the ground. Like it's so wet, it's awful. <laughs> Look at my boys. I love you. I have like zinc on his back because he was getting sunburned. Anyway, so another thing that happened this morning that's so crazy is that this, so we've been fixing this fence line because our little boy, baby goat, he just gets out whenever he wants. So Sam fixed over there last week or the other day. And then today I watched him, yes, you, I watched him fit through this little tiny spot this big and he fit through there. They're like cats. If their head can fit, their body goes. Anyway, so Sam had to come out and fix that. I went in this morning and I said, Sam, this is where you gotta fix the fence. This is where the goat is getting out. And he said, no, it's not possible. I don't believe you. And I was like, well, I watched him two times go out it. And he still didn't believe me because it was just so crazy. All the rain and all the wet and all the goo and all the yuck makes you not wanna be outside. It just feels so damp. And it's cooler today, but it just doesn't feel good to be outside. Like, we're cutting the grass every two days. It's, I don't know. I said to my friend, I think, like, we're about to be in a crisis. Like, we're about to be, I saw, like, some flooding on my, on Instagram in this area. Like, it's about to get out of control. God, we're good with the rain, but I don't want you to stop the rain once a week, twice a week. Twice a week we want rain. I told them how I told you how the goat got out today and you didn't believe me. Anyways, welcome to today's video. Just putting on my seatbelt while we're driving down the driveway. Which reminds me that Gabby often has headphones on in her car. She wears them until she gets on the road sometimes. She takes them off as she's riding down the driveway because she's setting up her, her I don't know what she's setting up. But anyways, she doesn't wear them when she's driving. However, it is not illegal in where we live to wear headphones while you're driving. Did you know that, Sam? I do now. Yeah, did you know that, Gabby? Yes. But she doesn't wear them because we asked her not to because you're one step ahead if you can hear the noise outside your car. So, and she doesn't really need them in her car. So she doesn't wear them. 
I know people think that she does because they see her in her car wearing them, but when she's on the road, she doesn't wear them. But it's definitely not illegal, just something that that is important for safety. It's that kind of day where it should be car cleaning day. Everybody take their car to the uh, vacuum place. And really? Clean your own cars. Yeah, uh, all of them. I agree. I think it's a perfect day. You want to clean your car, Gabby? Yeah, Gabby's car doesn't get dirty. But anyways, today is dirty and overcast. We don't feel like being outside. Everything is muddy and a mess. I hate to see it. Like, I hate that the animals are outside in less than good conditions. I picked Penny's feet yesterday. Her feet are still good, nice and hard. But when it's really wet and damp like this, it can soften their, it can soften their feet, which can make them more prone to like stone bruises and other things, funguses. But anyways, we're gonna head into town and we're gonna do some shopping and then um, Sam wants to clean the cars. But I wanna do one step further. I wanna clean our saddles. Like, it's almost show, show time. Oh my gosh, I have the biggest surprise for the show. The biggest surprise. Like, some of you guys will probably already know, or a couple of you guys already know, but there's a huge surprise coming at this show. Like, a huge surprise. You're gonna wanna tune in for the show vlog. There's a huge surprise. Sophie, do you know what it is? So anyways, yeah, do you know what it is? Yeah, Sam's always out of the loop. Anyways, I want us to all clean our saddles today. I think they should have like, every like week or so, there should be one day where it's only saddle cleaning day. There's no riding, there's no nothing. There's just a cleaning tack. I love cleaning tack, it's my favorite thing. But anyway, we'll see what we get up to when we get back. I'm sure the animals will have like another catastrophe for us, <laughs> but, as of now, we're in distress, you guys. There's way too much rain, way too much rain. Comment below if you live in an area that's getting a lot of rain too. Sophie and I are in a creative, off. a creative mood and we wanted to come to the craft store, see what we can find. I love candles and they're all 60% off, so they're like four bucks. But the real reason we're here is for wool. I'm like in the mood to make baby stuff for my grandbaby. Like, just the colors make me excited for fall. I'm excited for fall. I'm so grateful that Sophie likes to crochet and do that kind of stuff with me because... That's knit. That's knitting. I could teach you to knit. I know how to. Yeah, you do actually do know how to. You Already. strangle it. You <laughs> scoop it as guts. <laughs> Um, <laughs> who, taught it to, who taught it to you that way? TikTok. <laughs> TikTok. TikTok. A little retail therapy and I'm feeling ready, rare, ready and raring to go. Um, I didn't really have anything planned for today. I want to just weed my garden in the front. I want to weed my vegetable garden and then we got home and everything just happened. Everybody just started throwing plans out and I got excited. You have to have plans each day to feel motivated and happy and excited to go out there in the world and do stuff. So uh, Sam is gonna cut down all the weeds in the pasture where we've been riding. And my newest little grandbaby Lily is gonna stop by for a few minutes and I'm really excited to see her. And Sophie's gonna have a lesson today. Whew, just in time for the horse show. So this <laughs> is what I want to use to make uh, turkey coop because it's big but there's a lot of stuff in here but my son is coming and he wants to borrow a sun umbrella because they want to go to the beach ah, ah. and I told him I think I have one so I found one I'm excited Sam's gonna get rid of all the weeds and all the fields Whew, it is hot so Sam has an appointment tomorrow to get the truck and the trailer tuned up. So we are ready for the horse show. And also we can dr start driving back into the barn for lessons and stuff. But for now, so he's gonna have to have lessons here. Oh, hello. I'm not gonna lie, this is the coldest area on the barn. On the farm, whoops. On the farm, this is the coldest area. I don't think Sam wants you guys eating the horse hay though. A couple of days ago I had a turkey on my head, now I have a goat on my head. <laughs> this is what farm life is like. Why do you have to stand on my head? <laughs> Ow! Hi, Cricket. Every day I wake up with energy, like so much energy. Every day I wake up and I am so excited to get out of bed and see 
what I get to do each day. Like I'm so excited to just go outside and see what I get to do. But today, I'm just not feeling it the same. And I know it's normal <laughs> to have down or down days or days where you have less energy and I know it will pass, but it's just a weird feeling because I have so much to do now and I just don't really want to do any of it. I just want to sit here and play with my goats. Hi, Crick. <laughs> I really don't like you on my head. She's one of my favorite goats, you guys. I love this girl. I can't wait till she have a bit. Can she have a till she can have a baby? We're gonna breed her next year. Cause she's a short one, and she definitely isn't ready. You're definitely not ready this year. But she's pretty cute. Honestly, I don't want you. <laughs> I love you too, but I don't want you on me. Here she comes. Can she get out of there? Yeah. Here, come on, Posey. She'll go that way. She's like, hi. Anytime somebody comes to the farm, she's like, I know you're here to see me. Remember, she was <laughs> screaming last she's night. So oh, she's so sweet now. You like, she just loves everybody. She just comes running like a crate in Ellie too. There are like cheerleaders for the farm. I can't wait till she's big enough to eat. She's not gonna be ever big enough to eat, but thanks for, Ellie, isn't she sweet though? Right, where's this horse? Okay, come on. We're walking out and this goat is like, I'm coming. She's right on my feet. Same as this one. Where are the horses? Somewhere. You'll know when Sophie's horse comes because you'll hear the, that ground thundering. <laughs> They're like, wait, we're coming too. We love everybody. <laughs> Gabby, do you have the gate? Literally, <laughs> the goats are neck and neck with us. There's Ellie. Come on. Come on, lady. Honey's always the first one. Come on! There she comes. Honey and lady, neck and neck. Does the horse like the goats? Yeah. Isn't she cute? Can the goats like get away? Oh, look at them. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's how they eat. Goats eat up and horses eat down. This is yeah. yeah. What do you think? What's his name? Lady. Do you hear the thump thump? This is the biggest horse you've ever had. Yep. Don't you know She's big though. And this is the littlest. This horse is way bigger than she knows. Uh, she's, she's bigger bodied. Well, she stands taller. With Her head stands taller. Well, it's because of her breed. She's like, just push her away. Listen, everybody wants to see you, but. She's huge. Do you like her? Yeah. I know, she's the nicest horse. Not as nice as Chino, but she, I mean, Chino made. Was a good boy. Chino was a good boy. So that's it, she just came. But do you hear the clump, clump, clump? <laughs> Honey and lady, they're the, always the cheerleaders. We got, yep, she came into this farm and she said, this is my baby now. And she stole her. Is that your mama? Is that your mama, honey? She's like, oh, everybody's her mama. They all take turns mommying her. Mama? She's sassy. You see that? She put her head down. It's like, you better not touch me. <laughs> no, they're, the goats they're trapped. are, everybody's trapped. Okay. See that big, huge chain link fence? Nobody can get out. That's the beauty of this place. They must like this. All right, best animal on the farm. Which one do you say? The horses, the goats, the pigs? The pig. The pig. What do you think, Nick? The goats. The goats are fun. The, the, um, the incestuous goats. <laughs> okay. Yep, there's that. <laughs> I'm explaining about Posey's little pool over there and then poof. Ellie just jumped in. She's like, this is my pool. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, this is hot. But so does my pig do that? You should see her. I took pictures of her and she had the, I'll send them to you. She had the hugest smile on her face. She was rolling all around. It's her favorite place to be. Ellie is a water dog too. You should take her to the beach with you. Isn't that funny? I don't know what Ellie thinks she is. Nick says she doesn't think she's a dog. There's Posey. See, I'm never gonna get to see her with her eyes open. She was just. Do sleeping. you know? I is she asleep now? Yeah. She's got her hands up. Stand back. Wait, Lily. Wait till you're big enough and you can come and see all Nana's animals. You are going to die when you see the pig. Even your mama loves the pig. She's nice and warm. Let me see if this closed. Every time I see her, okay. she's got her eyes closed. Oops. <laughs> she's like, Don't touch me. Oh, she has a smile.
Look at how little she is still. Isn't she so little? Cute baby. Oh, she's so little. Look at, that. Look at her feet. Her feet are not even as big as my thumb. I love sharing our farm with people. Like, and it doesn't matter how many times my kids come here, it's always new. So uh, that, so uh, Nick is on his way to the beach and they stopped by to get our umbrella so that they have something put under the baby underneath. And it was the first time he got to see Lady. And Nick really loves the horses. He loved Chino. He loves Storm. He just loves them. And so Sophie's like, are you going to come and look at my new horse? And he's like, and he said, of course. But then on the way, they got bombarded by all the other parts of all the other animals. But isn't it funny? Like, it's so funny that our animals really think that... The people are where they're supposed to be. They're supposed to be with us. Like, they just love their people. Anyway, I'm gonna clean all this out. I'm gonna try and clean all this out uh, while I wait for Sophie's lessons to start. Sam is headed down to do the weeds so she can ride without weeds. Uh, Gabby's gonna go to the store and get a case of water, a couple cases of water for the fridge because it's been so hot we ran out. That's the garden. Still lots of weeds. <laughs> But I picked out a lot of them, dug them all up, and nothing, no weeds are, no weeds are bigger than the plant, so I'm happy. But that's it. Lots of new stuff I think I already showed you. Things like some little cucumbers. Hi. Isn't she so sweet, you guys? I can't get over, like, how perfect it worked out. Like, I wanted a little dog, but they could keep up with me on the farm tell me that I didn't get a little dog that could keep up with me on the farm. But hello, ladies. When Nick was here, she walked up to me. And then she walked on top of everybody. Yeah, but she walked up to me first. Yeah. She's so friendly, though. She's like, hi, hi, hi. I see you. I acknowledge you. I know you're new. Who are you? How are you? And then bye-bye. <laughs> and then, yeah, I'm going with my friends now. Everything's good. Love this horse. We, like, in life... You have extroverts and introverts and everything in between and it's the same with animals and it's always like the animals that match your energy that really make you really bring out the happiness like on this farm we have Ellie all of our dogs are actually really friendly to people all of them all of our dogs love people and are friendly to people and get excited when people come over but Ellie especially like begs people to pick her up. She hates to be cuddled, hates it, but she always wants strangers to pick her up. And then a Posy Pig, she's another one. She loves people, she's so friendly and outgoing. Lady and Honey are both exactly the same like that. They love people, whereas Storm does like people. Actually, Storm is really friendly, but not the same way, not the same energy, I guess, as Lady and Honey. They are like, really super outgoing. Storm loves Lady. Storm loves Lady. Everybody loves Lady. Another one is Sophie's little goat, little Miss Toffee. She's another one that just loves people and the same with Blossom. Like I showed you guys, we're walking through the field and Nick and half his family are behind us and we're walking through the field and I got Toffee on one side and Blossom on the other and they're just like, come on, let's go. Let's go see what we're going to do. Like, I love animals like that. I love people like that and I love animals like that. But the truth is I love all people and I love all animals. So even people who are shy and even people who are uncomfortable, they're introverts and they feel better when they're alone. I love those kind of people too. I love people. I just love getting to know them. I love getting to see who people are and I love letting people be themselves and do you guys remember when Sophie used to do this with Finn? She what used to shade say, of gray do you want? Which shade? Blue or she's looking. She's looking at the navy. Which one do you like? Pink or navy? She's looking. Which one? Finn used to choose always, remember? It was the cutest thing. Her ears. She's, she's looking at the that one. She's looking at the pink. Which one do you want? She's looking at the navy. <laughs> or she's looking in the distance. She's like, pick one, sister. Pick one. She says pink. 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 <laughs> Good girl. And now she touches she pink. So pink? She changed her mind. She wants to choose between the green. <laughs> and look at her lip. The green and the pink. I think she wants the green. What do you think? Who wore the green the last? Storm. 
Pink. Which one do you like? I think that's pink. I think she's picking pink too. <laughs> Girl. And just like that, everything's looking neat and tidy again. Sam did such a good job, you guys. Love it. All he did was cut down all the weeds. Don't you know that you're beautiful?